All right. Hello. How we doing? Hello. All right, here we go. If streets would, if streets could speak, the worst podcast in the world. <laughs> okay. What's good, Day Day? What's good, Nate? How so, you doing, bro? Oh, uh, you know, I I think a little bit better than you, or maybe not as good as you. I don't know. Yeah. Speaking a little bit, Day Day's uh. I could be doing a little better, bro. <laughs> what's up with you? What what you on right now? I'm off a off a perk right now. <laughs> oh. And I just start sweating. I just had a beer. That shit just hit me like a whole other way. Yeah, so I was we're at the bar and <clears throat> I wanted to buy them a beer because they came all the way to do this for us. But uh, they're drinking the beer and he told me that he took some drugs. So. I mean, yeah. it doesn't make it sound so bad that he took some drugs. <laughs> he took a, a, a medical prescribed drug. You know, his, he had a, aches and pains. Aches and pains, you know, the life struggles hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah, what you been up to? How's everything? Man, I've just been struggling like a real nigga. You been struggling? Yeah. Why? Oh, what's been wrong? Bro, life sucks. <laughs> Why does it suck, though? It looks like you live a pretty good life. I mean, because I'm fat. It looks like I'm living a good life. Well, you look like you eating. I'm eating it. It's expensive to keep this weight, bro. <laughs> it's expensive to keep this figure. Look at this nigga. Look, you just came in here. Big Val BMX. How you doing? Little ass nigga. All right, so I don't know who wants to hold the mic right now. Big Val, here's here's the interview. So, what's up, Val? Where you just come from? Where did I come from? Yeah, where did you come from? Oh, Val's a, Val's a little turn to you guys. So this is uh, nah, you know, you're good. Yeah, I'm good. What you been up to? How's everything? Everything's good. Everything's getting better. Uh, working, just staying out of trouble and shit. I see that. I just want to say before starting this, your Instagram is by far one of the coolest Instagrams ever. I love how you're doing something at all times, and you're never. I don't think you ever sleep. Do you ever sleep? Uh, I probably sleep probably like three hours a night. Have you always been like that? Nah, not really. It kind of just started. It's just been pretty crazy. Yeah? So. Yeah, it's crazy because I see you wake up around, it seems like, 6 o'clock, yeah. and you don't go to bed till like, 4.30. Like, like 1-ish, too. So, yeah, that's why I'm like, I get, like, a few hours of sleep. For just sure. the grinding, too. So, it's so crazy. Yeah. And then, did you think it started when you had a kid and you had to be up while she was born? or? Um, It started probably, like, before. <laughs> probably got worse after she was here because then I was just like just trying to get everything that I could you know like just greedy basically you got more motivated after yeah. you, you had the kid yeah so you slept in a lot yeah I'm lazy I'm a lazy ass nigga so I like I gotta like stay busy or I'm gonna just not do nothing you know what I mean so I gotta keep stay on it so I could just uh not be broke you know what I'm saying yeah, I I don't know. Like it just seems like, I think ever since I've known you guys, you guys always kind of been on a hustle. I because I we were talking about the, the other day how we kind of trip out about riding. I always tripped out even riding a block or whatever. But you fools would ride all the way to fucking Huntington Beach and yeah. back, and you guys would do like four times in a night for girls. And like now it's like, it's still bottles on the way. Yeah, it's like shit crazy. Did you guys just do that strictly for the pussy, or you guys get, were getting money as well in the in the meantime? All of the above, yeah. Honestly, all of the above for sure. Damn, bro. Like, I don't know. You think um, where did the hustle come from? You just did being you get, broke, growing up and not having shit, growing up and your parents not doing everything for you, and uh, I kind of wanted it all, so I had to go get it. You feel me? So how did you grow up? How was, I mean, how, I, it's not like I grew up poor or anything, but I just grew up one more than what my mom would give me. Yeah. I kind of grew up with a single mom, you feel me? So she took care of me and my little brother by herself. You close with them, both of them? Yeah. Yeah, That's what uh, What does your mom do? What does your brother she do? She works at the airport. Oh, yeah, in, okay. Uh, Las Vegas, and my little brother just went to the Army, actually. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think it's gay, but... To each his own, you know. Did your mom ever push that on you, or? No. She didn't push anything on you? Nothing. Just to get a job and don't be an ain't shit ass nigga. When, did, when you started riding BMX, did she start kind of like accepting it, or was she not kind of yeah, like get a job? She was cool with it. She was cool with it. She wanted me to work, though, but she was cool with the BMX. <laughs> it was like better than me getting in trouble and shit and out there kicking it with fucking 
troublemakers and, you know, going to jail and shit. So she looked at it as like a way of me just staying out of trouble, basically. How did you guys meet? Who? You and Day Day. Oh, um, I was going to fuck his bitch. Oh, wait. So so what happened? Day, I don't know if we could even get in the mic. Day Day, I don't know if you want to come over here. Like, you just come over here maybe and... You, so oh, you want to share a mic? Yeah, Sorry, camera? this is, is we're not on the, the we're not on the good budget over here. <laughs> if we cool. start getting more views and we shit, gonna, then we'll be still Adam shit. Yeah, Adam shit, take everything. Yeah, fuck you, Adam. Nah, Adam twenty two, we come for you. Share, you just took the whole mic. Yeah, it's my time to shine, nigga. Check oh, this out. Time? All right, check this okay. out. Okay. I was supposed to beat this nigga up and like. <laughs> well, no, no, wait, 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 wait. We gotta track back. We gotta backtrack a little bit. Backtrack a little bit. So yeah. what? What happened? What, let's start from right, the very first. I just got a juvie boot camp, right? I was kicking in Long Beach. I'm from originally from Compton. I went to jail on some bullshit, fucking stealing dirt bikes and shit, and got out. I'm supposed to fight this nigga because I bought a BMX bike from this nigga who got his bike stolen for an iPod shuffle, and they came. Hey, you got the homie's bike. You gotta give him his bike back. Bullshit, I just traded my iPod for this. You don't have to fight me for this bike. You feel me? So, all in all, this fat white dude named Fat Ben and him was supposed to pull up on me with my ass, and I pulled up like, nigga, I'll pay for this bike. You ain't take the shit from me. You wanna fight, you wanna fight, nigga. And this nigga was like, yo, I feel you. <laughs> like, Where did you guys meet at? At, at Rose Park on fucking 7th and, uh, I mean, uh, 8th and Cherry. 8th and Fort Zappa, huh? So, how did you find out? Was it your bike? Nah. nah. Net homie Greg. So how did you? So it was just random as fuck. So it was luck? a random bike, and I know the homie Dama. We all know like the same homies, the same like big homies and shit. And um, I got a juvie like, ooh, ooh, what's up? My nigga pedals this, that, and that. And this nigga was like, who the fuck is this nigga yeah, coming up? That's how we met. That's how we met. I was gonna beat this nigga up actually. Do he know? Yo, this nigga, we had a little BMX crew called Pedals, and this nigga was at Big Speed, like basically like pissing off all the skateboarders and shit. And like one of my skater homies was like, yo, there's some black dude that's screaming your like your bike crew at like all the skaters and shit. And he's trying to fight everybody and he's screaming pedals. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, who's this nigga? Like, I'm about to press this nigga. And then I met him and he was like super turned up. And I was like, I actually kind of like this nigga. You're like, okay. Cool. <laughs> so when you guys met at the park or whatever, you guys, that's when you guys vibed or was that the when he met you at the skate park? And so you guys were meant to throw down, and you guys were like, oh, shit, we're kind of the same person. Yeah. Whoa. I felt where he was coming from, 100%. And you guys just got each other's numbers, and you guys started hitting up? And then we start bleeding motherfuckers. We start beating niggas up, and he must have didn't know I could fight, and I must have didn't know he could fight. And it was just like, like, yo, bro. Do you remember your first fight? Nah. Ever? Oh, I remember this. I remember the first time I seen him fight. We was a uh, little Asian punk. I hope you see this shit. We was uh, in high school, and, like, this Asian kid, we was rolling past uh, the park, and this Asian kid was, like, he was a skateboarder, and he he told us, uh, save a tree, get a bike. Or, no, he, he was, like, uh, fuck a bike, get a skateboard, or some shit like that. And he was with, like, a little Asian girl, and this nigga did a fucking Mr. Bully over here. Like, went back up to him and was like, what? Like, and was talking to him, and... Uh, the kid was laughing, and this nigga Dave was like, I'm not laughing. And, like, homie kept laughing. And Dave looks at me, he was like, should I kick this nigga? And I was like, nah, I don't kick him. And then he literally just fired him. Boop, boop, boop. And, like, fucked him up. That shit was funny as fuck. Then he tried to get at his girl after. Damn. He, was like, he told the chick, he was like, that's your boyfriend? She was like, no. He was like, <laughs> like what's, what's good? up? I was like, bro, we got to go. Where do you guys, where has, because a lot of people out here, I feel like, are a lot of talk, but not about action. Where do you guys, that killer instinct or just fighting instinct came from? Are you born with it or what happened? Did you have to get picked on? Do you get bullied or what? I got beat up. A lot? By or? everybody. I had uncles and relatives that couldn't wait to whoop my ass. I was bad. I always was bad. Like my first fight, I got to my best friend named Nico, RIP Nico, Nico Sanders. Um, this little nigga was in karate class and he karate kicked me in the nose. And the first time I seen blood come on my face, and it just changed me. I'm like, I'll never let a nigga just hit me like that again. Like, and then after that, I started being real bad. Like, I, I went to Foster Elementary in Compton. So you can see how that went. Yeah. I mean, Candy Lady House, Dope Dealers, Game Bangers, everywhere. Got raised by Dope Dealers and Pimps and shit. So everybody was fucking me. I was always fat boy. Fucking this, that, and the other. And it's like, they couldn't wait to fuck me up. But then I kind of went crazy. Like, and I started, like, doing shit, like, 
set shit on fire and like fucking stealing shit, hiding shit, you feel me? So it's like a, they turned me into like the psychopath that I was when I was growing up in my teens and shit. So it was like, I don't know where it came from. And it's like, I, I don't know. I always seen like my older sister protect us. I'm like, yo, this is a girl. How the fuck she got to like scrap everybody? And when I got my older sister age, I felt like I could really throw down because I seen her put niggas in their place. You feel me? Like, yeah. I don't know. It's like we grew up in the hood. Like my mom was on dope and everything when I was growing up. So it's you were can you ever think of a time that you, are you always nervous to fight or were you never yeah, nervous? I'm always nervous to fight. But the reason why I kick so much ass because I, I'm fear of getting my ass whooped. So I'm going to whoop his ass before he can whoop my ass. It's so like I'm killer never to going to fight. Like I'm just going to whoop this nigga ass. No, I'm going to fuck you up. As hard as I could. You're not about to get a free ass whoop, and this ass whoop is not free. I mean, you got to pay for this one. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I've seen you guys, like, it's one word. Because usually, like, people are like, what could, what this, what that. You're like, oh, down? Bow. Already. There's no talk, and it's like, it's like it's, you're going to fight anyway. So that's pretty dope to see, it's like... It's like the showing, like, why you got to, like, show and play around and talk, and let's get a crowd, and everybody pull up their cameras and shit, like... That's stupid. I've seen people literally argue for like 30 minutes that they're trying to do shit and never do nothing. nothing. I've seen Vel beat up six dudes in Vegas by himself. Him and him and uh, the homie Wes. Wes was had your back. And he was like, he's all nigga, you didn't help me. I was like, bro, you <laughs> laid out every fool. You didn't need my help. I had it on film, but I got deleted. And then you got you got uh, banned from all those casinos, right? Yeah, that's... Have you ever been beaten up? Yeah. Yeah. When, when was the last time you got beaten up? Let's not talk about that. No. Nah. What about you? Oh, wait. Didn't you you had a close encounter the other day on your story. That's why I love... If you don't follow Vel, he posted him fighting this big motherfucker. Big. He was like a big white dude that was really, really meatheadish. Big, and he was mad, and I don't know what I did, but he was pissed. What was over? Do you remember? Yeah. We were leaving out of a gas station. Long story short, we were leaving out of a gas station, and I, he was in my way, and I went around him, and I guess I looked at him weird or something, and he, like, turned around from the way he was going, and he pulled up on the side of me and was, like, basically, like, telling me, what the fuck is you, what are you looking at? Why are you looking at me all weird and shit? And I was like, bro, like, do you want to fight or what? And he was like, what's up? Like, <laughs> and, yeah, and, like, he pulled over into a neighborhood, and he hopped off the car fucking... Yeah. You're like, were you kind of shook? Or you're like, nah, hell no. Nah. Nah. I love that shit. Yeah, you love I it? I love that shit. Like, I honestly didn't think he was going to be that with the shit, though. Because, like, when I seen him hop out, I kind of, like, skipped over to him. And was like, what's up? And as soon as I got right there, he just, like, swung on me, bro. And, like, we just started fighting. Like, That's the closest you've ever been to be getting beaten up? Yeah, that was the first time I ever got dropped. He, like, clipped my shit and I fell. And I was like, oh, shit. And then I got up. And then we, like, started fighting again. And that's when the video was recording. Do you think it's because... I'm black. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm do you think black. you you think you got a little like? Do you think you're better at fighting or worse because of all the injuries that you've had? A hundred percent worse. If he if this would have been years ago, like when the Vegas chat, bro, you see me in yeah. Vegas, bro. Like it would have been different, but it's cool. Yeah, you have so many injuries. You have yeah. you get injured all the time. You know, I oh. do. Yeah, that's broke collarbone. Both both my collarbones, both my wrists, both my knees. Have you guys ever considered joining a boxing gym or trying to be professional yeah. boxers or anything like that? We thought about it, but we was like, if we do that shit, we're probably going to get killed or go to jail because it's like we were already, like, fucking dangerous, and then now we're going to go actually learn how to professionally be dangerous. You guys think that would actually kind of – you don't think that would humble you at all? No. No? Because you guys would it be would getting – make me go for bigger, scarier-looking motherfuckers, literally. I'd go for the even – bigger, crazier motherfuckers because I'm like, I know for a fact I could whoop your ass. You I think me? fighting for you is like how we look at street spots and shit. You see a setup, you see something really like... I'm about to back <laughs> shit. And it isn't like... But that's what I, I always wish I had the money to... I always wanted to put you guys into fighting, like a boxing gym or something, just so that'd be cool. Like, I think Adam or something, that'd be the coolest vlog series yeah. of getting you guys trained for a, prof or a fight, Ooh, boxing thing. Shit. You should... Adam, Adam, if you're watching this, let's put these dudes in the boxing ring and get them trained and... Definitely, definitely fucking come professional boxers. Damn, that shit you want to come porn star? That's way more lit. I feel way more You like lit that like shit? This. Hell yeah. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, that's recording. You feel me? How did you get into BMX, Vel? How did I get into yeah. BMX? 
Funny story, I was in high school and I was a skateboarder and I let my homie use my skateboard and he was like breaking up weed on it at some church or something and got pulled over and the cops took my skateboard because it had tagging on the bottom of it. And uh, I tripped on him about it and then like days later he got a BMX bike and he was like, I don't got your skateboard but you can use this bike until I get a skateboard. And I was like, all right, cool. So I was riding the bike to school and shit and then he ended up moving like to Wisconsin or some shit like that so I kept the bike. Do you remember what kind of bike it was? Uh, I remember it had Odyssey wheels on it. It was like the Odyssey cassette when, like, you know, yeah. the little ring around the driver and shit. And the frame was like a free agent frame, but it was an aluminum frame. And the, the dropouts on the back were three-fourths. So they fouled it out. They, like, literally, like, some tweaker shit, straight crackhead shit. You get what I'm saying, Yeah, right? yep, yep. They fouled it out so that the 14 mil could fit back yeah. in. Yeah. So I thought it was cool. It was super fucking light. It was like an all aluminum frame. Were you way more attracted to that than skateboarding right away? Yeah, immediately. Why? Because like, you're I was better? already fucking around on the BMX bike on my neighbor's bike, Edgar. If Edgar see this shit, shout out to my nigga. But um, he stayed across the street from me, and I started talking about BMX bikes and shit, and he ended up getting a premium, uh, like a premium complete, and I thought that shit was fucking sick. I had the... F- that was, like, my first time really noticing the difference with fat tires and shit. Like, like a legit know, bike? Yeah. Yeah, bro. And it had, like, the one brake, like, fucking, you know, I was like, damn, this shit's tight. And I actually learned how to do 180s on his bike. Really? I would just ride it in the front all the fucking time. Like, and I just, I don't know. I just picked up on it quick. I was mean, there any skate parks or anything like that? Yeah. One, do you remember the first time you ever saw somebody do, like, blow your mind at a skate park? Or, like, who was it? Do you remember anything like that? Mmm. Not really. I know Nick, this kid I used to ride with named Nick Tarrant. He fucks with s and shit. He used to do backflips at Ghetto and shit. And so that was your first skate out. park you ever went to was Ghetto? Yeah, but it was before. It was the Ghetto that it is now. It was like a pre, like more like a little street fucking park. It didn't have ramps and shit. It was a little different. And yeah, you're there no, and you start riding? No, Big Speed. Big Speed. Big Speed? Yeah, it was like a shuffleboard thing right there. It was like weird. Yeah, I started fucking around at Big Speed. Uh, Big Speed's definitely the park I've been at, like, longest you feel me for sure it's came a long way and that changed your life do you, were you guys did, so when you actually met when do you remember meeting like riders and shit like legit riders um one of the first people i actually met when i was riding and one of the first niggas that ever hooked me up was aaron bostrom and tony nair the first niggas and that's how i met fucking adam you know it was at the old oss house yeah tony was sitting in the window and we had a bunch of bottles and we were riding past and he was like oh shit tony and uh, we told him we had bottles. It was like Tony Catfish, fucking Adam, Chris Long. Everybody was upstairs. You and knew who they were? No, we okay. didn't. So we went up there, and Stevie Churchill was there. <clears throat> and, like, I remember Stevie was putting his bike together and shit, and we had no idea who anybody was. I didn't even know what awesome shit was. I never heard of it. Like, And uh, we started selling them bottles. And then we went out riding with you guys and shit. And, like, we was like, whoa. Like, these niggas are dope. And then y'all seen us ride, and y'all was like, we both was like, whoa, like, y- y'all didn't think that we rode. Y'all was like, oh, y'all actually, y'all thought we were just, like, some little fucking thugs. No, I think I met like, you guys, I met you guys two years after you guys met OSS. Is that? Yep, for you sure. around yet? No, no, I met you guys. You yeah, I came from New Mexico, yeah. That's uh, when, when we were just, we'd be fucking around playing video games at the come up house. Yeah, yeah, me and Daddy would be in there. We were literally, it's so funny, because... Alex Platt, if you're watching this, you're still a bitch. Dude, he hated us. Yeah, bro. Like, he hated us. Like, me and Danny would just come over there. Like, that was our weed smoking spot. We would literally go to the OSS house to just smoke weed. Yeah. Like, we would go in our own little corner, play the game, and, like, roll blunts. And I remember one time. How old were you, how, how old were you guys then? Probably, like, yeah. Like so, you guys 16. met all the OSS dudes when you guys were 14? Nah, like, probably, like, around that time. Okay. Like, I want to say, like, 16. I think I met like, you guys at when you guys were, like, like 18. Seven. Definitely met you guys when you were 18. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But anyways, we yeah. was too young to do shit for yeah. a long time, like. Still in school type shit, like. Definitely met you guys when you were 18, because that's when we started going fuck on, like, little trips around yeah. around the city and shit. I remember uh, Adam and Chris took me to Woodward. That shit was tight. It was dope. We did a lot of dope shit. What's the most... Memorable thing that you BMX has given you? Woodward, probably. Yeah? Yeah, because it was closed. It was, like, not open. Like, it was, like, snowing and shit up there. So, it was empty. You feel me? Like... Did you know what Woodward was? Yeah, fuck yeah. From skateboarding? Yeah. Hell yeah, I knew what Woodward was. It's so crazy, too, because I think we all went to the valley, and you guys have lived here your whole life, and I was like, yo, we're going to the valley. I don't know if this is you guys, but you guys are like, 
yo, we've never been to the valley before. Yeah. And that's what's so crazy. That's how big this fucking, this whole place is that you can live here for fucking 18 years and not go yeah. 60 miles down the city. Real shit. Crazy. Just growing up and fucking over here, basically just not being able to fucking go nowhere, not having money to, you know, get everywhere. Like, as far as we will go is where the metro will take us. You feel me? Like, so. You guys would ride fucking 80 miles a day, 100 miles a day. Yeah. So I guess you kind of had to. Hell but yeah. I love that dedication from memory, buddy. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, when did you guys start smoking weed and riding bikes? <laughs> Does that help you? Did you guys learn smoking weed? Yeah. It was. I, I learned how to ride bikes drunk. Yeah? Yeah, yo, this nigga would come to ghetto on like some bullshit ass twenty four inch or some shit and just blast the box jump, bro. Just like, Day Day's always been crazy. The first time we ever rode together was at MLK, and I remember he came up to me like, "Nick, what you got? What you gonna do? Let's play a game of bike." He always be testing me, and that's when I did that one eighty wall ride. Remember, y'all nigga, y'all nigga, I've been trying to do that. Oh shit! But he was like, "Nigga, you ain't gonna. Do- I've been trying to do that." Then he tried it. He ain't shit. And then he was meeting me. I did it. He was like, okay. And then he started fucking with me a little bit more. <laughs> I just chilled because I'd always be hungover. I, I, that's like, I think that's how we all kind of bonded with just yeah. drinking and just chilling and partying because I really didn't really like to go to the bars too much. Bro, do you remember when we packed that dude out at the Staples Center at Tom Villarreal's party? Oh, yeah. yeah shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I, fuck, dude. There's so much shit that's got stolen from out of my car. But, um, bro, this we fucking. Kill him. But remember what happened? Fucking Gorman was sleeping. Gorman was sleeping in his car. And this drunk motherfucker ripped Gorman's fucking window off while he's in there. Shattered it. Yeah. And this was a rager party, dude. There's like at least 150 people in there. It was funny, like he was like, it was his, it was fucking uh, Tom's party, and he was acting like he was the guard, and he was somebody else's like, like he was working there. Was fucking yeah, he was fucking with us. He was so fucking gone, bro. Like, and we're all chilling, have a good time. This fool, like, I remember we told the homie, like, yo, this is what happened. He stopped the party, like, oh, who the fuck did this shit? Let's see. That was the first time I packed somebody up. That was the first time ever. Yeah, that shit was. I was jumping on his head. <laughs> that I, shit was crazy. I, I had no involvement. My hand in that. was broke. Remember, I had a cast on. <laughs> my hand was broke. But that, that guy did kind of have it deserved. The whole party was like, yo, this yo, motherfucker. He was fucking with us when we first got there. He was fucking with us. And then, like. Dude, he shattered Gorman's window with him in it trying to rob his truck. Yo, do you remember how we got to that party? How did we get there? Gorman passed out. Oh. Gorman blacked out. Oh, did we, we throw him happened. in the truck? And we yo, threw, <laughs> yo. Blacked out. Gorman, so picture you. I'm good. Picture you being in the. Being in your car and not even knowing that you're in your car and you're parked in an alley and some big fat motherfucker with a big beard just like rips what? your window out. Shatters it. He woke up. He came in there like. What the fuck? Like, he didn't like, even know where he was at. Yeah, like that shit was crazy. And as soon as we heard that shit happen, remember it was when that 2 chain song, I walk in, then I. <laughs> <laughs> and that, we dude, walked that house outside. is so sick. We walked outside and like he was right there like with his hands all open and shit. And it was like some, some like real securities there. And they told him he had to go. Yeah, because like, they, yeah, everyone, like, dude, he was in the wrong 100%. Yeah, and then we told the securities, we was like, yo, we about to fuck him up. And they was like, all right, that's cool, but just not right here. So we all watching him walk down the alley. I bullshit you not, bro. He literally was walking, walking, and then he just starts running, yep. bro. And we all started chasing that nigga, like. When you guys, I opened the fuck. door, I opened the door, and I just saw you guys running. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then. Yeah, that shit was funny. But that's. Fuck, man. I, I, I hope. I think I've probably been packed out like that before. Yeah, I, yeah for sure. I don't remember. I've been drunk. I've probably done dumb hey, shit like that. Remember that time at the black bar when I knocked that nigga out for you? Yep, yep, yep. Because that motherfucker stole my camera. Out for him. I seen that. That was the first time I seen you trip, bro. I was faded as fuck. I had a red YG hat on that said Trap House, nigga. We almost and, had uh, to fight the whole bar, dude. Yeah, bro. I, I almost got us packed out. Because this motherfucker hey, stole my camera. I seen Nate trip, and Nate was like, what the fuck? That nigga stole my camera a long time ago. And, like, Nate was in his face, like, da-da-da-da. And then, he said like, some smart shit, nigga. I'll pull my phone out, put it on Snapchat, nigga, and sock it. Bop! Boop! And his homie caught him. His homie was like, what the fuck, dude? And I flinched at his homie, like, what's up? And remember, I was like, yo, and then like, the security guards yeah, came out. Nigga, and the bouncers was big. But they was like, get the fuck up out of here, cuz. I'm like, long beach. 
flinched at them niggas like, what's up? They were, bro, they would have literally broke me in half. And the guy was like, what's up? Fuck y'all niggas, bro. Fuck this part, nigga. Long Beach. Did you guys, um, you guys get banged on a lot riding through the hoods back in the day yeah. or still do? Yeah. That's where all our fights came from. From literally, every bangers? Time was fighting, it was some Mexicans like tripping on us or something or like some other niggas or something like just random just shit. Just talking shit for riding a bike yeah, or? Yeah, just, just being weird. Yeah, just like, being like, you know. Look how we look. Yeah. What what kind of what the, what are the gangs around here? The Cambodians, right? It's the Asian boys, TRG, the babies, twenties, everything. The Linden blocks. Because do you live our when we used to live right knows. there in that area? The like from your ho- old house to the OSS house, yeah. that was gang territory. So I always sketched out riding all that time, but yeah, it was cool. No, yeah, they thought, because you would always be like, yo, be careful, because I had all the tattoos, and I'd be going at night with all the, all, yeah, all my. Yep. Fuck. Yo. Have you guys ever wanted to join a gang? No. I'm, not saying. I'm a one-man gang. I am a gang by myself. You got a lot of good friends that are gangbangers? Yeah, hell yeah. My whole family. The whole family? I say the same shit. My whole family, everybody. And they're cool with you just being like, chill? They like it? Yeah, they ain't tripping on me. They... What do you guys think of the, the 6 9 shit? Fuck that nigga. Is he snitching out? Yeah. You think he's going to get killed? No. No? No. I, I, I've been listening to like some of the interviews. Like Those fools like were just extorting him, and like they kind of like they gave a reason for him to snitch on him, you know? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. That shit was kind of weird, bro. So, I don't know. Everyone's going down and fuck all that shit. Hey, y'all. This nigga got a Mustang key on his key ring. Oh, yeah. What's up with the cars? And he ain't got no Mustang. Yeah, what's up with your cars? You love cars, right? Yeah. Dude, who took it? Police. The police took all your shit? Yeah, fuck, fuck 12s. Why? Because they're fucking illegal. Your cars are all illegal? <laughs> In which way? You just don't get... My cars are not illegal. They left... La- my cars are not illegal. My cars are not illegal. Did you like, my car I, is illegal. <laughs> but I'll be getting like, some nice whips very yeah, lately, yeah, dude. Yeah, you know, I do. You know. What's your dream car? My dream car right now would probably be like a Jeep Trackhawk or something. Yeah. Yeah? Or like a fucking Shelby GT500 Mustang or something. I'm a Ford guy, so, yeah. I just bought a Ford van. Yeah. Yeah. So we could go. We could go a little yeah, BMX yeah. trip. We get back on the Sorry. trips again. Day Day, go do that wall ride again. You would die. You would be in pieces. Do you want to try it again? Uh, you want to lose weight again? Jenny Craig. Damn. What? What? How? What gain? What, how did you gain so much weight? Was it jail? You fucked your leg up. You fucked a lot of bitches. I think that helps you. I, Yeah, these funny. Are little- you funny, nigga. That's what's funny. Your mama funny, nigga. Yeah, my mom funny. <laughs> All right. What? Your bitch. <laughs> yeah, she's actually very funny. Here, you want the mic? Yeah. So what's up with the cars? What's, you got a... You got a How's jail? How's what's up with all that? Oh, he bled me. As soon as I grabbed the mic, how's jail? Yeah, how was jail? Because you, you were loser. How's you were jail? out there. How you were in there for how long? Jail. First off, I was in prison. Yeah, That's you're in prison for how long? Yes, I was with the fucking gorillas. I was up there with motherfuckers who's like not getting out. So uh, yeah, it sucked. I seen someone get their fucking head split open to their skull. Can you talk about the cases that you were involved yeah, I beat my case, nigga. Yeah, so hey, so, don't play with me, nigga. My paperwork. Ain't a motherfucking snitch. Your mama's a snitch. So what were the cases? Don't play with me. I ain't no snitch, my nigga. <laughs> okay, let's let's see. You guys are really teacher. You up. How I, don't don't. You gotta really stop playing with me. <laughs> oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> because it's a lot of bitch ass niggas out there with this Takashi. I was a nigga. That's that's my my. Nigga, I could burn you down with that. You tell me I ain't no snitch though. First off, for the record, my nigga, my paperwork. He's a snitch. Okay, so what um what were your cases? Trafficking. Trafficking? And assault with a pistol. And that was facing how how long were you facing for that? Uh, the first the first offer they gave was thirty years. And that was your first offense? Yeah. How do you get caught up? 
Uh, cause I'm a dumbass nigga. Well, first off, uh, um, I was selling dope out of a bike shop. Okay. <laughs> That's how you got caught up. That's so they had a camera on me. They know what I was doing. They know what the fuck was up. Okay, so. Okay, then, okay. But do you think? How long do you think? I don't really know much about that, and I don't know if we want to talk about too much about that. But how long do you think you guys think that you sold to a kid or a parent? Nah, man. Check this out. I sold to a bitch ass nigga who a fucking who wanted a deal, and like pretty much he probably snitched on me. Okay. Like a bunch of kids. I knew who was pulling up. Like, come on, I knew who was coming in getting. But everybody was coming in getting sacks. But like, it's just like. Some I feel like a, a bitch ass nigga told like and then we was like right there in front of like neighbors and some gay people right next there no no home no fucking homo and no disrespect to the LGBTQ queers you feel me? The, the gay the gay niggas like but um it was some faggots next door and they <laughs> and they did not like us and they why why because we was big shooting guns at each okay. other in the back almost yeah. killed the homie almost killed this almost killed Lavelle so it's like. Um, this is off the record. I already went to jail for this, so I can talk about this. Yeah. I already went to jail for it, so fuck you niggas. All right, um, so this nigga, Vail, so this this white boy went to come through and get a gun or whatever, right? So I'm like, come through and pick it up. He's like, oh, twacked out, fucking weird and shit, you feel me? And he's like, okay, cool. He, I'm like, I taxed him for the gun, you feel me? Um, and he wanted to see what was up. I'm like, yeah, the gun's good, like it loads, this, that, and the other. Then I put the clip in. I loaded it, and then I thought I fucking took the clip out and loaded it and put the fucking the bullet out, and then I fucking pointed it at the ground like, and he was like kind of rolling the blunt like, and I kind of pointed at his leg and it like shot past him and it ricocheted off the floor and hit the fucking generator and Holy fucking cut fuck. the fucking the, oh. <laughs> and that shit cut on like it cut the fucking generator <laughs> off. <laughs> and this nigga, and then I sold the nigga the strap and the nigga was just like. <laughs> he was, he's got to it. He was he's like it's real he it's just real put it, he just put it in his back pocket and tried to run out the store We're like yo 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 put the gun away my nigga. yeah 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 and got out you know what's funny cops came for that nah hell no okay. check this out like like a couple times the guns went off in the back of the shot like I almost got my foot blown off with a shot <laughs> with a shotgun the homie almost blew my foot off and I was about to get mad my nigga like check this shit out the, this Mexican fool wanted to get a gun. Or, uh, I can't even talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't be criminal. Yeah, no. Let's man. talk about the cases that I already figured out. So fucking yeah, fuck them cases, man. I'm a real one. <laughs> Let's talk about what I did after them cases, right? Check this shit out. So I'm a non-affiliate Fight Night Friday, right? With the big candidate. So niggas is betting soups on me. Just in case you don't know what a soup is, it's a top ramen. A motherfucking top ramen or fucking whatever the fuck you, you, you cook those noodles, nigga. And niggas is betting your life with these. And they gonna put the biggest nigga up against you for these noodles, right? And you gotta fight these people for their Wait, they throw you into it. Huh? You don't got no choice? I ain't got no choice. So they everybody gonna pack me out, my nigga. Like so So it's either fight or get packed up by everyone. Or fuck get fucked up and check this out. You can't just get like this is the county jail. LA County Jail, aka Gladiator School. <laughs> Nigga, don't go to go. Don't come to California, LA, and think you can go to jail. You're gonna get fucked up by some. Someone's gonna fuck. Even you if up. you're in there for a day. Even if you no, nah, not in a day. If you're gonna. If you're doing a couple, now, you're not gonna see no cell. But if you see a bed, you better hope to Jesus. You don't see the motherfucking bed up in LA. That's why I'm like, I haven't been to jail in LA, and I don't never want to go to jail. Knock on wood. Don't do this but shit. I heard they do some shit. The Mexicans is gay as fuck. Bro. No, I heard. I heard, but. Because in New Mexico, they don't do this. But if you're black, the blacks take you. The Mexicans, Mexicans yeah. take you. So you got to go with yeah, the color. Okay. Fuck, okay. Yeah, Okay, okay, okay. Okay, anyways, yeah, you're, what you're saying? So um, the Mexicans, they got some shit called the Hoop Olympics, right? What they do is, it's like they smuggle shit in jail. And what they do is they get a fucking water bottle or a fucking Pepsi bottle. And they, like, squat down on it. And they butt cheeks grab the fucking bottle. They <laughs> shove it in their ass. And then they grab the butt cheeks in their ass. And they run around the bunk, like, Whoever could do like the fastest, like yeah, yeah, they run around the bunk like whoever can run around the fastest and shit, they win. Like win five dollars worth of soups and shit. So it's like you gotta do some gay shit when you're Mexican. Yeah. But um, nigga, I got beat up for not being a gang member. I got beat up. You got jumped or beat up? <laughs> I got jumped like twice, nigga. By they, blacks? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, you can't get beat up by the other races. I beat up somebody big, homie. Then they had to like. I kicked him in the face. You're not supposed to kick nobody in the face, but like, 
my instinct is I'm gonna fuck you up. And why I'm can't gonna, you? Why can't you kick him in the face? It's just a fair one. Oh, and then the, but does it have to do with the guards or anything, and maybe oh, leaving a mark? Yeah, police, no? will, police will okay. watch you get in a fight, and then then they'll go. Yeah, okay. After you get your ass whooped, then they go, like, oh, chill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tweak it out. Man. But um, yeah, got beat up for uh, somebody big homie called me a bitch, and uh, I beat him up, and then I kicked him in the face on his way down. I mixed him like, y'all think I'm capping, but uh, I really got hands. So <laughs> I've seen it. So I, I gave a nigga like a, can't I, can't, I can't fight at all. But I gave a nigga a, a random ass, cool ass five piece. And when he was going down, I caught the nigga. I kicked him in the head before he went down. And they like, oh, cuh, cuh, you got to get DP now, cuh. Damn. DP is discipline, you feel me? So uh, these niggas, they put like three niggas against me. Discipline is three on one. Are you able to fight back too, right? Fuck yeah, man. Okay. Check this out. So they put. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, you better put like, down the drizz down. <laughs> I'm a swim, <laughs> I'm a swim my nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check this out. But they put three non affiliates on me because I'm a non affiliate, but they don't want to lose a game member on me, especially not me because I can really fight. So I'm fight these niggas to the death, my nigga. So they put three non affiliates on me. Fuck these niggas up. The first nigga, it was like, it was literally like. You fucked them all up? Yeah. One of them was the, the homie, the homie Joshua Sheldon. He's from Long Beach, too. I hope you fucking seen this, and I want to get in contact with you. I cannot find this nigga. Joshua Sheldon was my nigga, and they put the homie because that's how these niggas are. They'll put your homeboy against you yeah. to fucking on the DP, so y'all got to scrap each other, right? So they put this nigga Josh on the, on the uh, they put him on the DP and two other niggas, a nigga from North Hollywood and some bitch-ass little nigga, like a little 18-year-old, right? And they sent the 18-year-old first. Three of them, they all, they, uh, and the nigga Josh, like, yo, I really don't want to fight you, so I'm going to look like I'm going to hit you. Just don't hit me, my nigga. He seen me fuck niggas up. So he was like, <laughs> he used to say, I'm going to hit you, but yeah. don't hit me, right? Yeah. So they sent the little nigga in first, nigga. So little nigga had braces and everything. I hit him twice. Boom, bam. Split his shit. Slid him. There was another nigga, a tall nigga. From, he was like a weird-ass skater nigga, but he had hands. I was drilling his shit, and he was in a bunk, right? They tried to put me in the corner. So I put that hit out, got around, put him in the corner, just drilling his shit. Mm, 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 mm. And the homie Joshua, like, he started hitting me hard. He's like, get that nigga, cuz. Kill cuz. Kill cuz. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> so Joshua started hitting me hard in the back of the head. So, like, I kind of elbowed the nigga, and I bust his nose. I start sliding this nigga. <laughs> Fucking, that was like, all right, we came to a conclusion. <laughs> no, the, leave this nigga alone. Like, leave this nigga alone. Like, he's a real one. He's going to fight these niggas. He's going to fight y'all. And it's like, they want to keep your numbers in blacks because they separate the blacks because they don't want our numbers strong because yeah. the Mexicans are running the jail and shit. Oh, they run the jail? Yeah, nigga. Then they went to the prison, right? I ain't never seen so much. Like, I ain't never seen a nigga. Oh, I seen a dead body. I seen, I ain't never seen nigga skull or nothing. I seen somebody get their fucking skull split, nigga, like, with a box cutter over some bush over a cell phone, bro, like. When you found out you had to go to prison, were you kind of like, fuck? Yeah, it was Were you fuck. tripping a lot? But the whole thing is, was the years, my nigga. That's the only thing I was tripping on. You weren't about. tripping about your life? Like, you're, you're like, okay, nah, I can handle like, myself. I'm, I'm a solid nigga. I know I can make it. You okay. feel me? Like, like, I'm not scared of, like, oh, I'm a, like, if I was a bitch-ass nigga or if I was snitch or anything, like. Like, you can't make it to certain yards with certain paperwork. You feel me? Yep. So, you can't go anywhere, my nigga. Like, so, and then my, my dad, like, he's from a certain crib gang. You feel me? So, and I'm from Long Beach. It's like the people, like, I don't know. It's like your people keep you good. But um, I see motherfuckers die. You saw, you saw, saw him die? I saw two people get killed. How? Up in, um, one other nigga, he got stabbed up on the yard. We was in a riot. Fucking, um, and, uh. Once the riot was over with, he was just on the floor, and then he had to get helicopter, like, airlifted off the yard. And that's the dude you saw his head split open? Oh, uh, yeah. No, no, no. The other nigga got his head split open. He survived. He was oh, the homie. Survived? Yeah, fucking, uh, the whites had a cell phone, took it from the uh, Mexicans, and a, and a fucking, yeah, from the woods, nigga. No, no, the, the woods had a, a cell phone, took it from the Mexicans and shit, and a, a bullshit, like, Android, like, an Android, a Galaxy S6 is, like, $2,000. So they got, they got that shit took and they couldn't pay the nigga up. So they wanted to get the shit. They got to stab him off the yard. So the motherfucker was like, all right, give me my money, this, that, and the other. Give me my products. So they trying to get him to pay. They paid through Walmart to Walmart or Green Dot or some shit like that. Yeah. So it's like a electric transactions in jail. These niggas is trapping. Fucking, um, the nigga was like, uh, 
give him my money, this, that, and the other. So they setting him up, they talking to him, and, and the nigga came from behind him with a box cutter, just hold his mouth, and like, Shit. Yeah, his fucking head. Like, you saw that shit. I saw that shit with my own eyes. It was in my dorm, nigga. I was chilling. I was sitting there watching TV, and you're not supposed supposed to be in other races business. Yep. So Y'all when ain't... shit about to go down, you supposed to just mind your own business. Yep. You feel just me? Just look that way. Yeah. Just, so I'm watching TV and shit, right? And then they kind of got behind him, like, ooh, my nigga senses is tingling. I'm like, all right, these niggas about to do something like shady, and they kind of just grabbed his mouth. And slid his head open. When it slid his head open, I literally like got up and just walked. Yeah. And fucking, they just got it cracking in the den and shit. Like, it was just crazy. Then like all the blacks, we got our blowers and shit, and like we just kind of like just wait until the shit died down. And then the nigga, oh my god, the nigga almost died. Right? He tried to be in the dorm. It was the funniest shit in the world, though. It was my nigga Ponto from SD. This nigga was my nigga. This nigga fucking um got his shit slid up, slid open. Like this bitch ass nigga motherfucking. Uh, I can't believe he did that. So he started his, he don't want to get, he's about to go home, so he didn't want to get more time, right? So these motherfuckers poured coffee, grounded up coffee beans in his head. I bullshit you not, right? True story, right handed guy. They poured coffee beans on top of his skull. Leaking. Like, leaking, my nigga, while his fucking, his skull is showing. And they drag this nigga in the shower, and he's washing the blood out of the shower, out of, on the shower. And it's like, what the fuck? And I went up in there, I seen what the fuck was happening. And it's like, dude. I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. But then these motherfuckers start trying to sew his head shut, right? They start get, they tried to get the, the sheets from the fucking from the um from the bed and shit. Start ripping the sheets real thin to make thread and shit. Start pulling up in the needle and shit. And, to, and this nigga start passing out and shit. Was they, he screaming? No, he wasn't screaming. They went to another dorm, grabbed him some crystal and shit, crystal meth in there. Yeah. He started sniffing crystal and shit, trying to stay up and shit. <laughs> like, and then he was just chilling. He was chilling in the bed. And then it's a nigga named uh, CT, this homeboy from New York and shit. And he was like, he came in the dorm like, hey, yo, our Ponto got, got sliced. Where bros at? So the nigga came in there and seen his Ponto. He was like, how the fuck, how the fuck y'all got this white man up in here looking like a zombie? Y'all need to get him up out of here before we all catch a case. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> y'all me up in here looking like the walking dead, right? So they called the police into the dorm. Police raided the dorm, like, what the fuck happened to him, right? And, like, uh, he said he slipped and fell in the shower. And, like, our showers had, like, a gang of porno up on the wall. Like, yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. like, like they come uh, uh, pull flicks. Yeah. You feel me? You, script, you uh, rip off the uh, magazines and shit, just jack off to it in the shower. Yeah. So the fucking police came in here, like, did y'all fucking gang rape him? What the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They didn't know what to think at all. Because it's like, it was like, it's a bunch of semen and blood in the shower. What the fuck did y'all do? Gang rape him and shit? Yeah, like, yeah. he was like, he was like, dude, I was just jacking off and fucking got caught in the shower. But it's like, they found the box cutter. Homeboy got airlifted off the yard. They stabbed him up. He died. And another nigga died. Oh, man, it was bad. It was bad. Those are people clearly doing life in there, yeah? No, they wasn't doing life. They no. just dumb as fuck. Jeez. They just dumb, like, really. Did that ever, does that ever trip you out? Like, maybe having to put in work when you only have, like, a year to serve and you might catch well, a case? sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Like, that's when you get in that life, when you were a gang member, you want to be repping some shit, you got to do what the fucking politics is. So say that you're not a gang member, and you went in there, and they want you to do work. Do you have to? Or no, you, I'm chilling. I'm a non-affiliate. They, 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 don't, want, they don't want you involved, I'm right? The only thing they want me to do is just fight niggas, just fight, okay. fight other non-affiliates. Yeah, entertain yeah. them. So I went up there. I did my shit. Went to fire camp. Went up there, did my shit. Got out there in two years. I was up, I was up in there with motherfuckers. Definitely never seen the light of day again. Clearly don't want to do that again, right? Never. Hell no, nah, man. You're uh, you're going to have a kid too, right? Yeah, like next month, the 22nd. You excited? Penitentiary Diaries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking Boss Hog just got had a kid. Yeah, I've seen that. I'm She's stoked for him. Yeah. So, uh. You excited? No. You're not excited? Kind you're more nervous? I'm not nervous, like, but it's like, I don't know. Yeah, his mama ain't shit neither. Okay, like, here we I, go. I ain't shit. I know I ain't shit. That's probably why I'm kind of nervous. Like, no, you got it. I think you got this shit for sure, bro. I'm, I'm, I think, I think you guys will be I'm fine. Cool. I'm like, I'm, a, I'm some type of shit. I ain't. I'm just not, not shit. You no, we need to get you guys become like professional boxers or something. I need a professional. How old are you? Twenty five. No, I think. I think if you were to actually legit wanted to do it, if you guys really put your heart into it and really, really was dedicated to My it, I think you guys could do it. My brother's in the gym right now. 
You, but that's that's discipline, bro. You guys would have to. You guys would probably have to be light heavyweight or high heavyweight. I'm gonna have to be heavyweight. And yeah, I gotta but you guys would have to be so fucking disciplined, like insanely disciplined. You know who I? But have you guys to fight? Can go I'm I'm fat, nigga. Yeah, but you, but you're who's taller? You, Bell's pretty tall. He's taller. Yeah, see, he he, had, he could be heavyweight. You could be light heavyweight. I'm gonna be definitely heavyweight. But I'm not. I don't really know boxing like that because clearly it could be heavyweight. It could be any size. Just, that fool Ruiz. Just my size, bro. I'm have, they're gonna have to make me go dumb down. Like I'm gonna have to go on them niggas' weight, and I'm not that. I need to lose weight before I even start training. Yeah, because I think they're gonna be faster than me and just bat my shit up. Like. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it'd be good for you guys too. I really <laughs> to think. Get socked up. That'd be good for me. No, I think it'd be good for you guys. I think you guys would love it. Like for sure, love yeah. it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get my confidence up and just beat a couple niggas up and then get a nigga. To we should it. start a GoFundMe. Yeah, we should get a GoFundMe going and get some money going yeah, so we can pay. Me yeah, for if we, sure. if you guys, if we get enough people, we could start a GoFundMe to get these dudes into boxing classes and we can make vlogs from it. That'd be so fucking sick. And we could just get. Oh, we gotta do another video. We're gonna do a prank. Yeah, yeah. And then we could do a prank. We'll give you guys. We could do like a two month thing. Clearly, pay for everything, and you guys train. And then you guys fight each other. This could be like the battle fight that you guys are supposed to fight in the beginning from the park. Why and now, and now it's, I'm going to fuck you up. I know how to beat this nigga. But no, we're supposed to do a prank. We're still going to do that prank, uh, skaters versus BMX riders. Have you guys fought a lot of skateboarders out here? Yes. You fought all the skateboarders? Has a skateboarder ever beaten you up? No? Mm -mm. That's good. There's a skateboarder out here that got hands, bro. Yeah, I, I saw his agenda, his agenda fight. Whoo! Ooh. He my size too. I, I I don't know his name, but. Guess who we got for niggas like him? Okay, <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, right? Nope. Okay, you, you 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 kick it with him all the time, but I, I forget his name, but he he's he's bad. He just got out of jail too. Next bitch ass. No, no, but he's black. He's black, but yeah. Um, I think we're at the hour hour and a half, but uh, I I think we should definitely definitely do some more videos and vlogs together. So if oh, you guys want to see that. These dudes have stories. I, I definitely want them on this shit again when they're not, not so tired and turned. I'm gonna tell you niggas right now. I'm gonna tell you one time. I'm high as fuck. Yeah, he's he's I'm high. Off the perk, and Nate just brought me a beer, so I'm sorry. Yeah, no. So it's good. So we'll get him turned up a little bit, and it's a little late. Yeah. It's like two o'clock in the morning right now. So, nah, nah, it's one. But, uh, yeah. You know we got to cap a little bit, though. All right. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to hear some more, make sure definitely, definitely leave in the comments and go follow Vel and do do so well. Vel BMX. Linked in the description. Follow up. We love you guys and definitely want some more of this. Can't say that enough. So we love you guys, Vel. Love you. Day Day, love you. Love you too, man. All right. Follow up. Peace out.